As the arts lose funding in public schools, one institution of learning in Schenectady, New York, is hoping to preserve a creative niche for a special group of young people. The Wildwood program allows students with autism and other forms of complex learning disabilities to express themselves creatively and freely through the arts. Wildwood also partners with the Albany Barn, an art organization that takes these children's works and reimagines them with the help of professional artists. Here's an inside look. My name is Allie Parrott. I'm the art teacher at Wildwood School. This is my first year. The Wildwood School is a school for kids with autism and other neurological disabilities. We work with a broad range of students and ability levels. It's just a really inclusive place for students who don't necessarily uh, fit in at a school district, um, and the districts are unable to program for them. And they come to us and we get to see their potential realized. So today we were working on our pieces for the third collaborative art show at the Albany Barn. So how it works is the students from Wildwood, they create pieces. They picked a medium, they picked what they wanted to paint on, they picked their subject, and then we sent work samples to the Albany Barn for their artists to base their works on. Albany Barn is a business incubator and residency program for emerging artists in the Capital Region. We get samples of the artwork both from the Wildwood School and then the Wildwood Adult Artists Program. And what we do is we look for artists within our network whose either style or imagery or color palettes um, tend to match with some of the artists' work that we've received. And then we just try to make pairings um, between artists at the barn and the artists at Wildwood. And so it's um, been kind of cool to see what each artist artists from the barn gravitates towards in terms of finding their inspiration for their final piece um, and then pairing up the final pieces to be in the exhibition. It's a great opportunity for the students to go see their artwork hanging in a gallery and see the families and have that experience of their families coming and seeing their pieces in a gallery. And it's just really great to get out into the community and be a part of it and let our art community know kind of what our students are made of. For the artists from the barn, a lot of times it's an opportunity to step outside of kind of their quote unquote normal artwork. So they're not worried about producing something that fits into a series or that kind of makes sense in their overall portfolio of work, but they're really doing something specifically for this event. And it's almost, um, you know, a gift. I don't know if that's the right term, but it's really something that they're um, giving back to their collaborator. Um, and it really, uh, they have such a sense of appreciation for the opportunity to have worked with them. I mean, it's so free and expressive, and it's messy, and uh, which is great. We always talk about, is it okay to make a mess in art? Yes, it's okay to make a mess in art. We just need to clean it up when we're finished. And they, it's just who they are. You know, I'm looking at some of the pieces over there, and it's just the way they talk and the things that they like is come through so much in their artwork. And this is when things come out that I never knew. You know, I didn't know that so, you know, a certain student likes a certain color or likes to draw birds or trees, apparently, you know, and it's just, they get a lot out of being able just to come in and express themselves freely. 